Uh, question over here. I think this is, we have time for one more question. Oh, we'll take two. Uh, Go ahead. Yes, my name is Roger Cochetti, and I am uh, author and retired business executive for ComSat, IBM, and technology companies. Because you're one of those rare uh, people who has an expertise at the intersection of technology, national security, and public policy, my question lies at the intersection of those three. Everyone recognizes that electric power is a key obstacle to the growth of data centers. And there's lots of different ideas thrown out, but I'd like to ask about one that you might be able to explain, and, and that is we've had small nuclear reactors virtually for my entire life. They're put on submarines that, you know, house people right next door to them. Why is it not feasible to simply tell whoever manufactures the nuclear power plants for submarines, give us another 300 of those and we'll put one at each data center and boom, the problem is solved. If it can power a nuclear submarine, why can't it power a data center? And I'm sure it's com more complicated than that, but if you could explain that or your own views on that, it would be helpful. Thank you. I would you. say for the, for, for the reactors that we actually have on submarines and aircraft carriers, that design, I think it's uh, rather uh, crew intensive and you need a lot of folks monitoring it. We have these small modular, modular reactors that are also nuclear reactors that use different kinds of technology um, that require fewer people, that are safer, uh, that are in a lot of ways perfect for this application. There are two, right, James, uh, Julian, there's two that are licensed in the U.S., two SMRs that are currently licensed in the U.S., and I think you're going to start seeing this. We need to get other designs licensed. There are companies out there that have you know, other ways to do this. There are some operational SMRs, not in the United States. I think maybe in Canada there's one, in China. China, Russia have some. We're going to see them here. And then you can put the power behind the meter. Doesn't even affect uh, the grid or the demand. One problem we do have in getting more of these licensed is, uh, you know, getting them through the process at the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. They're understaffed. I don't know how, how much they were doged here, but they, are, they have been understaffed, and they have to often make decisions. Do we want to do the permitting process for the big, giant, you know, you know, huge megawatts, something like Palo Verde or like a nuclear power plant, or do we focus on the SMRs? I've been trying to get them to do both, you know, because I think we, we, we do need both. Uh, we have